Right, hi folks. Um, I thought I'd share with you today a short video which I'm making on riveting. I've made one before, um, which you might have looked at, but this one I'm going to show how we form a dome head rivet. Um, that's a dome head rivet, and I want to form that on the riveted part. These are the couple of rivet snaps and these are for an eighth of an inch. I thought I'd just show these because they're actually, although they're both eighth of an inch, they're different. Um, this one fits in very snug, nicely. Um, you probably can't see that in much detail, but it is flush. The underside of the rivet is flush with the top of the rivet snap. Whereas this one, it's proud. Now, if you use this proud one, what's going to happen is it will slightly mark the top of the rivet. So when you get your rivet snaps, or if you make them, you can make them from silver steel, make sure that the rivet fits nicely into the rivet snap. Like that. So, <clears throat> what are we going to do today? Well, I am going to rivet this bracket onto the frame of my loco. Now the first thing you've got to do when you are um, riveting is to get the, the rivet to be the correct length and it's roughly 1.3 to 1.5 times the diameter of the rivet. These are 1 16th rivets, i.e. 63 thou, so I want something which is about 90 thou or so. And it just so happens that a little uh, BA nut here is the correct length. So just to snap them off to the correct length, I'm using a pair of snips. These are only soft iron rivets, so they cut very easily with a pair of side cutters. Um, so there we have them. They're all the same length now. We can now go about riveting them and forming the dome head. So let's move that. So I've got my rivet snap. I position the first rivet in the dome. Um, if you're wondering how I've got this set up, then let me just zoom out a little bit. You can see it here, I've got a piece of MDF, a um, block of wood so the frame's just resting and it's nice and flat and that helps a lot. Otherwise you need three hands to try and do this. So there are the rivets, now let's have a little bash at seeing if we can um, form them into the correct shape. What I like to do is just before I use the rivet snap I just like to do a gentle tap and you've got to be careful that the rivet doesn't bend too much and it will bend but you can feel it as it's going. Now I've got the rivet snap, position that over the rivet oh, and I've just marked very slightly the frame there because I've got that tilted over too much so you want to be careful about that. And that's the first one. That one's not actually perfect. I think probably got, I forgot just to file the tops of these down just a little bit. Very slightly long. So I'll do that across all of them. Right. So let's move on to the next one. Position that on the rivet snap.
that one's gone in much better. The next one, positioned it, slight tap. Next one, and the last one on this side. And then we have the first four. So you can see it happens. Sorry, that doesn't happen. It um, they're quite quick to do, and you can get a nice round head on the rivet. So the key is getting these to the correct length. Now it's fairly easy to work out as well how long the correct length is. Um, these should be semi uh, half of a sphere, <coughs> and the, the size of a sphere is. Was it uh, four, four thirds pi r cubed, I believe, and the volume of a cylinder? So you just get the volume of the cylinder to be the same as the volume that you want on the head, and that gives you the height. In fact, I'll I'll write that formula out on the uh, at the end of the video. Okay, thank you.